Is mostly mango juice, but mango, pure mango juice and lychee juice, lychee and mango together. Two fruits, very good for you. I guess it is. Where should I put this? Put it over here, out of the way. Look, a few things. Uh, name corn. Where should we? How should we do this? But this is a thing. Oh, let me start. This one. A thing happened to my wife long, about a few years ago. You know. She was in altercation with some uh, Christian ladies, right? They were da, 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 da. all di this is all different people. You know, there were some Afrikaans involved. These are all women. Some Afrikaans involved. Some lots of people involved. Some mixed. Pe I don't know whatever it is. But anyway, at some particular point in this altercation, it's called altercation. What's the difference? Right? One of the ladies says to my wife, she "says You're the devil." Whoa! Stop! Ding! Now. I didn't take offense because I know, you know, the, you know some of these Christians right here, they have a limited scope, you know what I mean? So they can't call you with so many names, you know, they haven't been to, you know, they, for instance, they, they haven't been to England since they can't call you the bloody whatever, because that would be a curse in England. You see what I'm saying? What I'm saying. Anyway, but in my brain, I'm going like, wait a second, where did, where did she learn that word? Where did she learn that term from? How was, what, what, what's this devil that she's talking about? That's what I said in my head. I said, did she know this before Van Wiesbrook or, or, or that guy John Smith, um, you know, got here? Did, did they know anything about the devil then? What was the concept then? And if she's a, a son of the, a daughter of the soil, why can't she use the name of the soil before the, you know, for, before the soilers, that, that would be the colonialists, before the soilers, the colonialists, came and perverted, you know, your thought, your, your thinking, and, and made you think, see what I'm saying? Anyway, so that got me to thinking, you know, it doesn't look, doesn't the colonialist, doesn't, doesn't the, 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 the person that, 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 that seeks to be a supremacist, that, that seeks to be a supreme in the supremacist system, isn't that what they do? First, first of all, they, they what, what's the phrase in there? They get you in your land and they, they plant a flag and then they name your land, they rename your land <laughs> to their liking. And then they convince you to go along with that renaming, right? They do things like, Make a contract, right? Sign a contract. You sign it, you know, you're drunk, you sign it, you know, I'm talking about the Indians now. You sign it, whatever. And then you say, yeah, but I know I signed something, you know what I mean? Then they look at something and then they realize that, oh, yeah, you did sign something. Then they rip it up. That, that's where they get the white bear speaker, the fork tongue. Let's turn another light on here for a second. I'm going to do something because I don't know what's going on with my light. Anyway, so, uh, so you see, so, so, okay, so that's what happens. Now the other thing is like uh, they get to a land, you know what I mean, and they start calling people. Oh, that, that person's a because they they because of their climate and their circumstance and their and their thousands of years of evolution, they do not need to wear uh, 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 stuff that you wear if you have to live in a cave and with the cold or whatever have you. But since they're not wearing as much clothes that you have to wear, you call them savage, and then you make the savage. You see what I'm saying? Same thing with black, whatever you want to call, whatever you want to say. So that's one thing. So this is a reoccurring thing. So if you, so so you know, if, if somebody's pulling a tactic on you, that's calling you and calling you out of your name, and you know it's not your crazy, why would you answer them? Just leave them alone. That's one of the tactics ADOs has to understand. Stop responding to folks who, who are not who are not, who are not responding with intelligence. Remember, this is a movement uh, out of this is a political movement that deals with data and facts. Okay. So if, 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 if the person that, that's calling your name or whatever they're doing are not giving you data and facts, then why would you be engaged in that kind of argument? You just, you, and if you give them data and facts, they don't respect it, then just, just leave them alone. Just go, go away, right? But here's the thing about these folks. Let me go back to this. There's a thing. When I was uh, doing an internship uh, at this uh, radio station in New Brunswick, New Jersey, at the time it was both AM and, and FM at the same time. I was doing, a, um, I was doing a, uh, an internship. Uh, writing copy. Anyway, the, the head of the copywriting department, you know, he he had taken this course. It, there was this things that were going on, especially in the seventies. Um, I forgot what they call these things, but it's almost like a brainwashing thing. Where where where, where if I say if I say to you, uh, uh, um, this is a sacred sign. This is a sacred sign here. This is a sacred sign, and you don't believe it. That doesn't alter me from keep on telling you this is a sacred sign. You say you don't believe it. this is a sacred sign. This is a sacred sign. So after a while, you know what I mean. Either I wear you down or you wear me down. 
But either way, I don't change my position. And this is what the, 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 these what these forces, these 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 supremes who want to be supremacists. The supremacists, whatever, whatever it is. that's what that's what they do. They they take a line and then they stick with it. Then then they name everybody after the line. You see, so if 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 you're calling me um if if, if you're calling me a, a a neocon or whatever you're calling me, and that sticks, then unfortunately, and then I accept it and I don't keep on correcting you at every turn. Well, there you go. There you go. The other thing that I noticed. Uh, in the 2000 elections, this is very important. This is key because they, they really call operatives. Okay, remember it's called there's name calling. You think there's there's name name naming. There's name calling. Then there's people who are taking postures, whatever. Then there's operatives, and the operatives is a whole different class. First of all, a lot of operatives just like to have fun. They they like trollers, but with uh, with money or something like that. Here's what an operative will do. Uh, like, like I saw this in the 2000 elections. You know, with the, when they went there, to, when they had to hold a contention with the, with the chads and the, the hanging chads and the, whatever it is, and um, if they had some evidence, and this was shown, this was all over the media too, where uh, you, when they was recounting the votes, you have these crowds of people over the thing like that, and then you see these these guys, they were uh, outed as Republican operatives. Were in that crowd. Not, they were in Florida people. They were Republican outlets that was flown in, paid to be there and cause this chaos and get and finally get, I don't know what Al Gore thing was, Al Gore, oh, oh, forget it, we're not going to have any more of this stuff. How do you quit? That's the other thing. You know, you know when you're on a bad team, when your bad team quits all the time, when they compromise, the biggest compromiser you know, I won't we'll get into it. Anyway. So, so these these operatives they they keep on they, they keep on attacking they get paid for it da, 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 da. so, so a hey. and 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 I guess the, the forces of righteousness if you want to call folks that you know what I mean they just don't have the gumption to do that okay remember they're also in it for the long game long game the other thing is you have to understand what what folks with these these nefarious force forces that that are against humanity they're against uh, I guess whatever we're I don't know they're against against humanity is all all I can say but they actually. Or it is for they they have a long game. They stay in for the long game, and, and and that's the thing. You know, you have to have a long game. This if we're doing ADOS reparations, we can't just say, oh, it's going to happen right now. It's got a long game. Then you have to put pe things in place that, 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 that there's people that's whatever proof. Okay. And the, the other thing, lexic the words are very important. Remember, I told you if they call your name, whatever, it's very important. So. One thing, one thing, for instance, they get everybody hopped up in reparations, but as soon as the, the, the mainstream media, whoever, gets the reparations, they start diluting that thing down. So we have to be, every time they get, they take a word, or they or they try to, to change the definition of the word, or they alter the definition, or they make you think of one one part of the definition of a word. Because remember, sometimes you look in a dictionary, have you have definition one, two, three, four, down to like definition number 29, you see what I'm saying? So they might be trying to steer you to definition number, number five in the scheme of things when you're talking about def, uh, definition number one. So I say just get more precise. So for instance, I, uh, for instance, we're in the ADOS. People say ADOS movement. No, this is an ADOS reality, because movements and movements mean mean nothing. You know, we we are stepping into reality, and a real you can you can alter a movement. You cannot alter a reality. Let me repeat this. You cannot alter a reality. What I'm trying to say is that. ADOS is a reality that has hit us. That, that you know, uh, uh, Mr. Yvette and, 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 and Attorney Moore have basically awakened some and, and released this thing. That what they've released is basically think of it this way. Ready for this? The Great Spirit is talking to us. The Great Spirit's been, been getting all the forces all over the world, and then through us, through our ADOS strain. Remember, the Great Spirit is doing something to other places on the planet, to other downtrodden people. The Great Spirit is working, work, working that kind of stuff. But for ADOS specifically, the, the message, the the, the 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 message that came through in, in that light, that 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 light that came through, and the path that that as it hits you, and then what you see in this path, what you see, you see a clear path. It's a path of re it's a reality that you step into. You step onto that path of reality. Once you step onto that path of reality and you start moving that path of reality, it is difficult for you to leave that path of reality with that data and that truth. It is more difficult. You cannot. It is difficult because the Great Spirit has given you the path. You see the path. It's clear for you. You realize it. It releases you on this path. You're now on this road of truth, of data, of justice. And you can't, you know, and those people who are not on it, you don't have to argue with them. If they don't see the light, that's fine. The, the Great Spirit ain't, ain't really revealed that path to them. They put them on that path. Lead them people along right now. Right now, we got to galvanize our folks. Okay, back to the point. So the other thing is we have to use, like I said, debt due. You know, 
Hey, I'm a debt collector. I told you before I used to be a debt collector on the phone. Right? I'm a debt collector. Debt due. What do you mean? Reparation? No, no. Reparation one. We're talking about this debt due first. Okay, reparation, debt due. What do you want to call it? We're calling it debt due. You want to call it reparations? Fine. Debt due. Definition number one. <laughs> debt due. You know, and if you, and, 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 the, and the lexicon, the, the, the words that we use is very, very important. Uh, I used to, I still do, checking once out this guy, Cliff High, he's a, they, look, what Chomsky and them, they look at is like words. I mean, just put it that way. So if, 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 if you're saying like, what's the thing that um, the vet always says at the end of, well, I, I, I appreciate you, I appreciate, well, I appreciate one of those words I've seen has been getting around, you know, so we use that. So in that reparations language, we have to find it, debt due is one of those things, we have to find these little catchphrases and keep on putting it out there. And one of the things we should put, every time you comment on somebody's uh, commentary thing, you should always put uh, uh, www.ados101.com, just pfft. Anytime you see somebody and you think it's a troll, it's rather than engage them a whole long time, just put, the first, first thing you put is www.ados101.com. That's how you answer folks like that. As soon as they keep on seeing that, t-shirt, ADOS, and I'm going to say ADOS, www.ados.com, like that. Hats, you know, ADOS, okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so anyway, so what I'm trying to say is that if they, if they name you, right, what we've named ourselves, if they name you, they have control over your name or they can subvert your name, your ideas. They will do that. That's what they do. That's their nature. What's your nature? Is your nature a nature of a warrior to get what do you? Are you gonna are you are you a debt collector? Or are you you see what I'm saying? Okay, that's well you understand what I'm saying. Um me. That's be me saying it. Me. T from the Patterson's taking the train just a bit. Letting you know. Damn, that's not my hunch you see it. Hmm. But I only suspect from a deaths of the ADOS that would be the American descendants of chattel slavery.